Python is a lean but powerful language. It's not bloated with a lot of unnecessary code, and yet we are able to take advantage of the many modules that people have contributed to Python over time through open source programming. So today we're going to see how we can import these other modules, and also we'll learn just a bit about some features of object-oriented programming called methods. Just as a reminder, if you've come across this video and you didn't realize that it was a part of a series of programs, you can go to the Code Graph landing page at vanderbilt.lt slash Code Graph and learn more about this series of lessons. We'll start with talking about what is necessary to import a function. A module is reusable code. It's in a regular Python file. It has a P .py extension like any other Python programs. And we can load the code from that module into our code by using the import statement. There is a set of modules known as the standard library, and those modules are already included automatically when Python is installed on your computer. You don't need to worry about where the modules are. They're hidden somewhere deep in your file system, but Python knows where they are and can find them. So that's not something you need to worry about. Unlike the built-in functions that are automatically available to you, you can only use functions that are in standard library modules if you import them using an import statement. The import statement looks something like this. If we want to just import a single function from the module, then we use this format. We say from, and then the name of the module, import, and then the name of the function that we want to import. If we import the function in this way, then we can simply give the function name like we would any other function, and that's all that is required. Many modules have a lot of functions in them. And so it would be kind of irritating perhaps to have a from import statement for every function in that module that we want to use. So another alternative is to just import the entire module by saying import and then the module name. If we do that, then when we use a function from that module, we have to prefix the function name with the name of the module and then a dot and then we can put the name of the function. So it's a little easier on the front end, but every time we use the function, we have to uh, put in some extra letters here. Uh, an alternative that's a little bit less annoying is to import the module, but assign it to an abbreviation. So if we say import the math module as M, then instead of having to write out math, Dot sqrt, we can just simply say m.sqrt, and that's a lot easier. 